The Tupel of 222 m backfire is a supersonic bomber which was designed to replace the subsonic 216 and the troublesome 222 missile carriers. Although its designation may suggest that the 222M backfire is basically a modified 222 blinder, it is a completely different and new design with only a few small 222 features maintained. The 222M design features a variable geometry wing which is also found on contemporary tactical fighters and the American B-1B bomber. The two turbofan afterburning engines are unlike almost every other bomber located in its fuselage body with large shoulder mounted intakes. More similar to contemporary tactical fighters and fighter bombers, the aircraft can be equipped with up to three KH-22 air-to-surface missiles with one under each wing and a third under its belly. Semi-recessed into the bomb bay, the second ASM option is the KH-15 on a six-round launcher carried in the bomb bay. Up to four external bomb racks can be equipped, each rack capable of carrying nine conventional 250 kg general-purpose bombs. Also the 500, 1500 and 3000 kg conventional bombs can be equipped. The 222M is equipped with a Leninitz PNA attack radar in the nose and opv 15 t television site for optical bomb aiming, located below the fuselage just in front of the nose gear. The first production variant was the 222M2. The variant was capable of being refueled in flight, however after the SALT treaty the probe was removed, remaining the probe housing. Later the probe housing was also removed, but the aircraft keeps the bulge-like shape of the nose. The latest version, the 222M3 or Backfire C, has two NK-25 engines, replacing the original NK-22s. The new engines coupled with redesigned engine intakes boosted performance. Also the maximum wing sweep was increased back to 65 degrees. The 222M3 is capable of Mach 1 at low level and has a max speed of Mach 2.05. The 222M3 was also armed with a new weapon, the Radiga KH-15, which was better suited against enemy air defenses than the obsolete KH-22, probably because of the large available inventory of KH-22 missile. The KH-22 was improved and remained in service on the 222M, although satellites took over the role of the 222R for the larger part. A small number of 222M3S were modified for the reconnaissance role. The designation for this variant is 222M3 or 222Mr. The variant has a large sensor package built into the bomb bay. The ECM package of the 222M2 and despite improvements the 222M3 was not considered adequate and an escort jamming aircraft was needed. The old 216P was too slow for the job and two alternatives were considered, one being the 222MP, a 222M3 fitted with the MIAS electronic warfare system. Three prototypes were built by 1992 but the type did not enter service. The other option was the EEL 76 PP, a converted EEL 76 transport. It was equipped with the Dandesh system which could not be equipped to the 222M3 because it required too much power. One prototype was tested but none were produced. No 222M backfires were exported, although China and Iran showed serious interest in the 1990s. Lately there have been reports that the 222M3 is offered to India for the maritime attack role, probably armed with the conventional anti-ship KH-15A missile. Russia remains the biggest operator of the type, which will probably remain in service for the foreseeable future because a replacement T-6 OS program will prove too expensive. In 1997 a study for the upgrade of the 222M3 was started under the name of Project 245 or 2245. Ukraine was the only other operator. It inherited a 222M3 regiment after the Soviet Union collapse. Some of these remained in service as strategic deterrence initially, but were retired and reduced to scrap during the latter part of the 1990s and early 2000s.